The Alps Mountaineering Explorer for four person tent by Sherps is quite different. Um, the company Alps, see what happened was Sherpers is like a Sherpers is, is like, I don't know, like a Walmart hardware store up in Wisconsin area. And they got a couple stores like that. And um, I never heard of them, but that's apparently what's going on. They contacted Alps, the company, which is in China, and asked them to make a tent to their spe specifications. And this is the tent they came up with. Now, as usual, China tries to copy everything. So a lot of people thought this tent was the same as the Taurus four-person tent or the Lynx. There's four or five different tents that are almost identical to this thing that Alps made. It's almost like they copied it and made a runoff of it. And some of them are um, seven pounds, some of them are eight pounds. This particular tent is nine pounds, five ounces. So why is this nine pounds, five ounces, and yet these other ones they made that were pretty much identical are lighter. Well, they used the lighter material is what they did. And they were made cheaper. The Sherps brand is made much stronger. The fly that goes on the tent, um, that is made much thicker. The floor is a bathtub floor, and uh, which really makes it much better in a, in a, in a rainstorm. Now, there's really only one real bad con with this particular tent, and that's uh, the air vents. There's one on each side, and it prevents condensation. You can't open them from the inside of the tent. If you forget to open them, you're going to have to get out of your tent and go open it. I leave mine open all the time so it, on any tent I've had, so it really doesn't affect me. But it's a really well-made tent, and it has two huge vestibules. And you can put a pack there. I mean, you can cook there. You can do a lot of things there. And uh, you have to understand, when you get a four-person tent, that it's really not four people. I mean, you would be super tight. And for two or three men, because when you see four, it's usually three. And... So th always think of that with a tent. But for me, we got two grown men and a German Shepherd. So you might as well say we're using it like a two and a half man tent for a four man tent, which gives us even more room in the tent. Now, being it's nine pounds, it's a pretty heavy tent for backpacking, but we're gonna split it. We're gonna split it between two men. So literally we're carrying about four pounds each, which is still pretty heavy for a tent, but it has a lot of comfort. So it depends if that's what you want. Um, now the zippers have a number 10 zipper. So before you think about buying one of the cheaper Alps mountaineering tents, and I did see a cheaper one, I seen one for like 139. This was like 189 at the time when I bought it. The originally, these originally were going for 300. So if you're looking for a four man tent, I would say go with this one. It's definitely gonna take the weather. Now there are certain things I look for in a tent compared to what I did in the old days. I mean, now when I look at a tent, I look at, does the screen come down halfway? Not all the way to the ground. Because what I found when screen came all the way down to the ground, if the tarp wasn't put on correctly, the water would hit the ground and then splash up into the screen and then come inside the tent. This tent, the screen comes down halfway, leaving you material all the way around the bottom. So even if water splashes up, it hits the material then runs off. So it makes it more waterproof. The other nice thing about that is if you decide to change inside this tent, you don't need the fly on it. You can literally change by sitting down and nobody's going to see you through the screen. So that's kind of nice too. This tent does have a netting in the middle where you can put things like a headlight or whatever. It has some pockets. Um, 
it's a really, really, really nice tent. Now, I bought the footprint for the Alps 4 men, and I'll have a link to this stuff in the bottom. It's a pound. So literally, I bought the tent to 10 pounds. It's a very, very heavy-duty footprint. Now, you can choose not to use that. If you're car camping, I would suggest you get it. You can choose not to get that and get Tyvek, which you can get off eBay or someplace. And that's going to be a lot lighter to put under the tent to protect the bottom. I'm going to blow up uh, three of my mats. And we're going to put it inside the tent and have a look at what the inside of the tent looks like. And near the end of this video, I've got, um, I've got a slow motion of time lapse of me putting the tent up. Now, I did kind of screw up. I mixed up the tent with the fly. I kind of looked at it twice and... I mixed them up, but really it didn't take long to put it up. And it's the first time I put it up. I pulled it out of the bag and I put it together. And um, I would say really, once you know how to do it, it takes you less than five minutes. It goes up very quickly. It's just two poles that pop in the grommets and connect the temp and clip it and you're good. You, and at that time the tent is free. You can pick it up, move it around, whatever you want to do, which is really nice. When you get it the way you want it, put um, one stake in each vestibule and then you can actually use both vestibules. Now if you're only using one door, then you can stake it two stakes in a vestibule. But you really only want to use one, so that way you can get in and get out with the vestibule still, still sitting there connected. Um, that's about all I can think of off the top of my head. But like I said, Alps makes other tents that look identical to this, Alps Mountaineering. But this tent seems to be a whole lot stronger and the materials are a whole lot better. Everything's double stitched, it's all two stitched. When I put this, and I use three cans, um, this is Kiwi Camp Dry. I don't know, it's about 30 bucks. And I coated it and then my son took a paper towel and went around and wiped it. And I really soaked where the seams were, where, the, where they actually sewed it. So that fly is super duper waterproof. So it will take a heck of a rainstorm. So let me blow up three mats and put them inside the tent. We'll see how that looks. All right, let me take you for a look around at this Alps Mountaineering tent here. That's one door opened on the vestibule. Maybe I can go in here. Those are three blow-ups right there. Okay. So you probably get four, but it would be tight. I would call this a three-man comfortable tent. You see, lots of room at the end there. So not too bad. Enough for two men and a German Shepherd for sure. Now, as I go around, you'll see how that fly comes way down, but you'll see where it's touching down here. See this? We don't want the water running down here. We, we really want to tie this out. So you'll need a piece of rope and a tie out to keep that away from the, the edge is what I would do if it was raining. You have additional tie outs over here. And that's if you're getting a windy day and it doesn't come with ropes or extra stakes you're gonna to have to get your own for that now up here is where we air it out and like I said you can't do that from the inside it has to be done from the outside and I leave mine all the time now as I come around You'll see this is where the other vestibule is. So you do have two doors where you know both guys can get in and out. They do have huge vestibules to put your pack or whatever you need. This is a really nice tent, guys. It really is. And again, you want to tie out that middle one so it's not raining on the bottom, as you can see. You're not going to stand up in it. 
Now, if you have a wife and two kids, I would get the six-man version because they do have a six-man version. You would get four people in there comfortably, but you're going to use it for car camping. You're not going to use that for backpacking unless you're going to split it between all your kids. But um, we're going to split this down to two guys. And uh, so that looks really, really nice. And I need to do my zippers yet. If you haven't seen my video on the zippers, I'll link it on what you do to your zippers. All right, the um, Sherpa's Explorer comes with the instructions right attached to the bag. So you'll never forget how to do that. From what I can see, there is one pocket over there. There's one on the other side too. So you got two little pockets to drop some little things in there. You've also got a net above you, which goes on very easy. So you can put your headlight in there or whatever you're gonna wear. Two nice big doors. Doors open and attach here. Even the vestibules roll up and attach, so they're out of the way. So, this is a very spacious tent. I mean, down there, even with my, with two men and my German Shepherd sleeping here, I could, we could even put our packs in here. I mean, if it was pouring, we could really keep stuff really dry. And like I said before, if you got a wife and two kids, you want to get the six men. So. It's a really well-made tent. The floor is extremely thick compared to regular tents. And it looks like there's one, one seam ceiling, one tape. They seam sealed it with tape and on the bottom, but I might spray it. It, uh, give it a coat underneath across the uh, stitching. But I'm pretty impressed with this. Now the poles are heavy duty aluminum poles. They're not your extremely uh, deco poles that are on other tents. This is a very robust stainless uh, aluminum pole. So I would imagine a good pound of the weight is coming from there. But um, not too bad. Okay, I'll have a video at the end here of stop motion of me putting it up. Like I said, I kind of did mess it up, mixing up the uh, tent and the fly at first, but it's a quick, uh, quick video how to do it. It is so easy to set up. I'm so impressed with it. Um, I'm going to leave this up for probably a few days. We're supposed to get rain here soon, so I can really give it a test. And... Uh, I'd like to sleep in it for a couple of nights, for a couple of nights and see how it feels. And uh, if you're looking for a tent, not a backpacking tent, you could backpack. I plan to backpack it, but most people would say this is too heavy for backpacking when it weighs close to 10 pounds with the uh, footprint. But um, you know, your car camp and this is like the perfect tent. It is well made compared to your cheaper tents. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.